Surveyor 1 was fit and ready, but still a captive of Earth's gravity. At 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the 26th of May, Surveyor 1 entered its protective housing. It will not be seen again until it sends a picture of itself from the moon. From this moment, it remains in the shroud until it reaches a point in space 73 miles above the Earth where the cover will be jettisoned. Memorial Day, 30 May 1966. At Complex 36A, the Atlas rocket has passed its final checkout. The Centaur upper stage is go. The shrouded Surveyor 1 is ready. Tracking and telemetry antennas at 15 stations around the Earth swing into their contact positions. Newsmen and television crews are standing by at key posts, ready to broadcast the results of Mission A, good or bad, to the waiting world. The control post is 2,300 airline miles west of the launch point at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. Here, scientists, engineers, and technicians stand by to assume command of the spacecraft after launch. Minus five, four, three, two, one. We have ignition. We have liftoff. Liftoff at 41 minutes past the hour. The roll program is in and the pitch program is in as we switch from to a flight azimuth of 102 degrees. Our charts are right on normal here during the early phases of the flight.